Hello, my name is Pastor Nathan. I'm the lead pastor here at First Christian Church of the Beaches. Um, and today is Ash Wednesday. This is the day when we have, hear the call to repent and believe the gospel. It's a day in which we are marked with ashes in the form of the cross on our forehead to remind us that from dust we were created and to dust we shall return. Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of Lent, which is the journey to Easter. It's a journey to the cross. Let us hear from the word of God in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, beginning in verse 16. Moreover, I saw under the sun that in the place of justice, even there was wickedness, and in the place of righteousness, even there was wickedness. I said in my heart, God will judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time for every matter and for every work. I said in my heart with regard to the children of man that God is testing them, that they may see that they themselves are but beasts. For what happens to the children of man and what happens to the beast is the same. As one dies, so dies the other. They all have the same breath. And man has no advantage over the beast, for all is vanity. All go to one place. All are from the dust, and to dust all return. Who knows whether the spirit of man goes upward and the spirit of the beast goes down into the earth. So I saw that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his work, for that is his lot. Who can bring him to see what will be after him? Here is the reading of God's word. Let us take a moment for prayer. Oh, holy God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh God, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. So what we hear in God's word is that from dust we were created and to dust we shall return. And so in this life, during this time of Lent, it's a time to repent and believe the gospel. It's a time to take everything we've stored up and compartmentalized and believe that God is, that it is hidden from God and to open it up, to know that God sees all of our heart. For you see, I imagine that in our heart we have a black box that we keep our deepest and darkest secrets the sins we don't want anyone to know of, the ones we believe that we are actually keeping hidden from God. And the call of Ash Wednesday and through the journey of Lent is to open this up, to let it lay bare before God, to trust that it is from dust we were created and to dust we will return. But the other part of that is that we believe the gospel. For you see, Lent is this journey that begins with Ash Wednesday and culminates on Good Friday. Good Friday, the day that Jesus will go and hang on the cross to bear your sins, all of our sins, past, present, and future. And there, upon his death, through the shedding of his blood, his holy, perfect blood, an atonement is made. So that we are made right with God, we are given forgiveness. And yes, God knows what's in our heart. He knows what we keep in our black box. And during this time of Lent, it's time that we are called to open this up and trust that this can be forgiven too, to repent from it and to turn towards Jesus 
in all of our lives. For you see, our only hope in life and death is that we are not our own, but we belong fully, wholly to God through Jesus Christ. And so as we begin this journey on Ash Wednesday, it begins with the ashes, symbolizing our own mortality and our own inability for our salvation. For the question in Ecclesiastes ends, who can bring him to see what will be after? And those ashes are formed in a cross because the treasure of the world, the treasure of our hearts is found only on the cross in Jesus Christ. Open yourself up to him fully and allow yourself to be free from the bondage that you carry around in that black box in your heart. Trust him. He can forgive you. He will forgive you. He wants to forgive you. Past, present, and future. So during this season, as we open ourselves up to God, it's not just an opening up of the sin, but it's to repent of it, to turn from it and turn towards Jesus and believe the gospel. Believe that yes, God can and does actually love us because we are told in scripture, it is while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, proving God's love. Go, fix your eyes upon him. May your whole life turn into a mirror for his glory. In Jesus' name, amen.